Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. It is the nursery tour. I'm sure you could already hear my daughter in the background of this video. But instead of doing an intro and all that, I decided just to walk you through the nursery while I talk. That way it just goes a little bit faster and easier. So as you can see, my lovely dogs love hanging out in here, but as soon as you open the door, this is what you see. I have two big windows here and I have her changing dresser and then her crib right to your left. So over here I have her accent wall, which I did with just decals from Amazon. I'll list the I'll list everything down below, but I will list the specific decals that I used down below for you guys. I just wanted some kind of accent wall without spending a million dollars. Um, on wallpaper since this is a rental. I should have mentioned that this is a rental So I decided instead of doing wallpaper I would just do some decals and these were the cheapest ones I could find that were kind of in my theme or somewhat in my theme I don't really have a theme, but my theme is basically no theme if that makes any sense at all It's just kind of just neutral and bright and white with touches of blush or pink because she's a girl and I just felt like doing it like that. Um, I feel like this nursery can definitely be switched out to anything. If you're having a boy, you can definitely switch out the decals and the pink accents and you have a boys room all set up as well. So just wanted to mention that. The first thing you see here is her camera. This is the um, camera that I mentioned in my baby shower haul. It was sent to me by Motorola and I absolutely love it. I have no complaints so far. Um, this kind of thing here, this, uh, what's it called, to cover the wires, I just picked up on Amazon and because it didn't come with it and it was super cheap and I actually used them over here as well to cover those wires um, for the sound machine. I also like how you don't see any wires over here because I kind of just hid them across the crib and down. So then obviously right below it you see the crib. <laughs> this crib is a baby Leto crib. Um, you can pick it up off of Pottery Barn Kids or Amazon I believe. And I just really liked how simple and white it was with the neutrally wood. That's like my thing. And I also love the mid-century modern legs on it. Just thought it was so Cute. For the mattress, just in case you guys were curious, I do have the Newton Baby mattress. It is a breathable mattress and I have Burt's Bees sheets on them. They're very soft. I love them. You can see the little Burt's Bee logo right here. Then we have this little corner over here, which I just showed you guys the sound machine. I love the sound machine. It's a Hatch Baby one. Um, I like it mostly because it's touch and it's very easy for me to just put my foot over it and it'll turn right back, turn right on. Obviously, if I don't have socks on, don't want to show you right now because I don't have my toes done because I can't go anywhere <laughs> because we're in quarantine. So yeah, I just think since it's on the floor, she can hear it perfectly in her crib. It's out of the way. All the wires are tucked and it's just very easy for me to put my foot there like I said and then right over here I have this little fake plant this is from Ikea I think it's super cute it's a little faux uh, fig leaf plant I believe and I just think it's cute because it's just delicate and tiny like perfect for a little girl's nursery so that's why I have that little guy there and the planter is from home goods and then over here I have her laundry set up in this basket. As you can see, it is time to do laundry. <laughs> um, I want a real laundry basket with a lid, but because we're in quarantine, I can't go out and buy one, and I'd rather just go buy one from Home Goods because I know I can get them for cheap. So for now, it's just in this little woven basket from Home Goods. And then this is new to the nursery. I absolutely love this piece. This is by The Birth Poster. And it's exactly what it says. It's a birth poster, so it has her name, her date of birth, her weight, her height. Um, and the time that she was born and I just think it's so cute and it's a one-to-one -one scale of her So it's her full body Like how tall she was and everything like that And I just think it's such a pretty keepsake and you can also pick the background color I chose the beige color obviously because that is the color in my nursery So that is that little corner right here and then before we go on to the other side of the room I just wanted to mention these curtains or these yeah these curtains um, and the rod the rod is from Ikea and the curtains are from Amazon and they are blackout curtains. I did a very neutral oatmeal-y beige shade. I probably would have gone with something like white and light and pretty and airy like some linen curtains but because I needed some kind of blackout since there's absolutely no shades as you guys can see here I need something for when she's taking a nap so that is why I got these and they do come with these little velcro tie things that I thought I wasn't going to use because I kind of felt like they were a little cheesy, but now I don't mind them. I think they're kind of cute. 
and they are easy to take on and off because they're Velcro and I can close the blinds or the, the curtains and reopen them for when she's up from her nap. So it works perfectly for us. And then over here, this is, I call it the little reading nook. I have my little like side coffee table here. I have her books over here that you can just grab. They're up here so that we can grab them um, when we move because again, we're renting and this is not gonna be a permanent spot. We'll probably be here for about a year more maybe. Um, when we move, I'll probably put get more and put them lower so that she's able to reach them also. But right now she can't even sit up. So <laughs> no point of putting them low right now. And then this chair is my glider. The bottom part here does glide and so does the actual chair and it swivels. Um, and it's from baby, what is it? Bye bye baby. Um, so yeah, it's comfortable and it's cute. I like it for this corner because it's a smaller chair. So it makes sense for like her size room, but I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable, amazing chair ever. It's okay. I mean, it was good for the price. Everything in here you'll see is very affordable. I tried to do her nursery on somewhat of a budget. Um, so yeah, that's another little thing for you guys. If you hear my daughter in the background again, she is fine. She's playing on her play mat. I just put her pacifier in and she's just hanging out and talking. Um, and so over here, like I said, this is like another cheap find. This is from Amazon and these little woven baskets. I have three throughout her room. Um, there, they came in a set of three from Ikea. So super cheap. And then this faux plant is also from, oh no, it's from Target actually and it wasn't that expensive either. I think it was a little expensive for the price, I mean for the height, but I wanted something specific for this little kind of uh, coffee table. Um, so I think it was like 14 bucks, but I still think it looks so cute. And yeah, that's that little corner there. So on the floor here, I have these blankets uh, rolled up in a basket that I got from Ikea. I love the basket. I don't think it looks like it's from Ikea for some reason. I think it looks like it's from like World Market or something. Just think it's super, super cute. Um, but I rolled up all these blankets and I put them in here because not only is it cute for decor and it gives the room pop a pop of like little pink um, accents <laughs> or whatever, um, but it makes great storage because I don't have a lot of storage in here. We live in a small two bedroom apartment and so I needed to make sure that I was smart with how I stored things. So this was one of the things that I did. And so yeah, I think it's a super cute way to kind of store the blankets and also have them uh, displayed. Okay, so this window is super bright right here, so I'm gonna try to get the best angle I can on this, but this is her changing area, and I love this little area over here. It's just so perfect um, for just, I don't know, it just fits the room perfectly. It works out perfectly for when I have to change her. It's super easy to change her here, and I absolutely love it. So I'll start off over here. This you can get off of Amazon. It's super cute and affordable and I just hung some clothes and some of her extra like headbands and this rainbow kind of um, I think it's a teether or a toy or whatever but I just put it there for decor honestly and I do like to swing it back and forth when she's on her changing table because it distracts her and it's just something for her to look at so it's just a nice way to do something different um, instead of like a mirror because I know the mirror thing is very in but I was kind of getting tired of that and I have a huge circle mirror in my entryway like my little fake entryway so I decided to do this instead and I love how it looks I think it's so cute I took a super cute picture of her on this um, um, changing table with the, that on top for Instagram. So if you don't follow me, you should follow me because I have super cute pictures of her on there. <laughs> okay, and then on to the actual changing mat here. This is the Kikuru Peanut. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Um, if you're, you know, pregnant or have babies, it's very popular. And I just love the color of it. But what I absolutely love about it, just not how like aesthetically pleasing it is, is that it works amazingly. It's just so easy to clean and wipe down. Um, she's had so many accidents already on here, so many times where she's peed on <laughs> me. Um, and it's just been amazing to just be able to be like, whoop, wipe it up, all done, nice and clean. I can disinfect it. It's just like so great. I love it. I can't say good enough, enough good things about it. Um, it's nice and squishy and comfy. The only thing I will say is that it can be cold if your room is a little bit cold. Um, so the only thing is that I would sometimes put like a burp cloth or something down first before I change her if it is a little cold. But other than that, I absolutely love it. 
And then what only makes sense, I'm sorry again about the sun, but what only makes sense is to have her diaper pail right on the side here. And I think it's so perfect here. It's just nice and hidden. Even though it's not ugly, it's just nice to have it like hidden and tucked away. So I feel like that's also a common thing in my nursery is I try to make everything cute, but practical because I've seen a lot of nurseries that I'm like, but what? That makes no sense. Like once you have your kid, you're gonna see. So this is an example as well. I have all her diapers in here. The sun is blocking it. I did try to lower the brightness a little bit so you guys can see and all her wipes right here. So it just makes for really easy changing and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go through all the drawers in another video so I don't want to go through them right now. Okay, so now onto this little area. This is like my little decor shelves over here. Um, and the other two baskets that I talked about are also over here. So starting with the first shelf, I have her baby book that I actually have written in. It's her real baby book, it's in there, I use it, but it's a nice um, little piece to display as well. Those blocks are actually from my baby shower, so I just threw them up there. I bought that bunny from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something, I just thought it was cute. Um, and I gave that little pink pop of color that I like. On to the next shelf, I have a little stuffed animal that I got from somebody as a gift from my shower with some other things. This Hello World sign is actually from when I brought her home from the hospital. On the other side, it says all her um, details, measurements, all that stuff. But I think this looks prettier as a display, so I just turned it around. And then I have an empty frame because we can't go anywhere and print pictures right now, so eventually I will put a picture in there. I plan to put, I, I originally had planned to put her ultrasound in there, but it didn't fit. It's too big of a frame, so I'll put something else in there. And then over here is the last time that I took a Polaroid of my pregnant belly. I do have a picture right before I went into labor or right before I got induced, but I just wanted to take some Polaroids before I actually um, gave birth because my doctors at one point were telling me that I was gonna give birth at any time. So I did it at 35 weeks, I gave birth at 37. So yeah, I love having these out. I think they're so cute and I miss being pregnant so much. <laughs> these little faux plants where you see here and also on here are both from Ikea. And it came in a set of three. And then the actual shelves are from Target. Down here, I just wanna mention these baskets again. These are the three set from Ikea. Um, I have her like extra kind of milestone plaques in here and some extra blocks that didn't make sense to put up on the shelf because I don't have enough like to make an even number. Um, and then this one has actually all her stuff from the hospital, like her little bands and her belly button and all that stuff. I know, I'm a weirdo, I kept the belly button, I'm a first time mom. I'm sorry, I did it, whatever. <laughs> and then this is a candle, it actually smells really good but I'm not burning it in here, I burned it in my living room and then I, just wanted to put something extra up here, so I just grabbed this because of the color. I just thought it was pretty with the room. Um, but I don't have a lot on this actual surface, if you can tell, because another kind of thing that I've noticed in a lot of videos that's not practical is that people clutter this space, and then when you go to need somewhere to put stuff, you don't have any space. So like if I'm changing her, if I need to grab something, I can just throw it on here, her diapers, if I need to, like when I'm getting her ready for a bath, I'll bring all her stuff up here, her lotions, and then I'll have everything ready and I'll have the space to do it. So I would just say keep that in mind too if you're doing your nursery to kind of be practical. Yes, you can make it look cute. I, I'm all about cute, but just make sure you actually have it function as well. And then lastly, the dresser. The dresser is from Ikea. I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times, but it is one of the best for this kind of situation, this changing table situation. I have so many things in here and I so appreciate that, you know, it's from Ikea and it's cheap and it just works so well. And then one of my favorite things about it is you can actually change out the knobs. So I got these knobs off of Amazon for super cheap and it just matches the neutrally natural wood kind of shade that I have going on throughout the rest of the nursery. And then if I turn you guys around before I exit the nursery, I just wanted to mention this lamp um, or this light fixture, I should say. This is from Ikea as well. And I, I am renting, but I was able to change them out as long as I change them back when I leave, which I plan to do. I just think that a light fixture can really accent the room nicely and give a nice kind of vibe or theme depending on what you're going for. So I did want to change it out and that's 
what I did. So I changed it out for this Ikea one, super inexpensive. Again, I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, I love it. And then I just wanted to show you guys quickly behind the door to the nursery, there's actually another door and it's her closet. And I'll just give you a little sneak peek. And that is her closet right now. Um, but I do want to go through it when I go through the drawers in here in another video as her organization video. So yeah. And then lastly, I just wanted to mention the area rug. This area rug is from Rugs USA. It was about $100, I think, right under. Um, the dogs love it. I don't know why they love to be in this room so much and lay on this carpet, but they absolutely love it. Um, it's actually kind of wooly and scratchy, I think. Like, if I have her play on it, I always put a blanket down first. But I absolutely love how it looks. I think it's very cute in this room. So yeah guys, that was my super quick kind of overview of the nursery. It's a perfect size room I think for a nursery and I just wanted to do a kind of minimal but I don't know, kind of pretty light, airy kind of feel to the room. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I gotta go and take care of my daughter. So I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks. Thank you.